everyone. Welcome to Live Chat Tuesday, number 129, uh, with my co-host, Mel, of Latalia's Little Hook with Mel. If you are new here, if you're returning Yarny Cat, welcome back. And sorry, we've been having some problems uh, on on getting her actually into StreamYard, but um, I mean, uh, Restream. We're on Restream today, and it's all different and new and so but we're here and if you are currently watching the replay please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you are with us currently leave us a comment in the chat hi guys all right we had uh sally stevens come in early there's janet dixon Soila, Soila, uh, Demetra, Kim, Chuck. Uh, happy Thanksgiving week to you as well, and happy Thanksgiving week to everybody. And there's Carl Ann Cast, Dudley's Crochet Julia. We got Tracy Huber, Alex, uh, Denise, Darcia. Welcome in, everybody. You know what? I'm going to try turning my volume up because it, yeah. It's I hear you. You sound all right. Well, I noticed earlier when I was talking to you, it was a little low and it was down a little bit. So, okay. All right. Well, we finally got Restream working. <laughs> so, are you just testing out different dreaming? Well, this seemed to work a lot better than Streamlabs. I mean, I had big problems with Streamlabs and with the problems that I have with StreamYard and my mic and the browser muting me, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna start using Restream from now on. And it also doesn't seem like there's too much of a lag. So. I'm not hearing any lag, so. Exactly, we're not, constantly try to talk over each other so. <laughs> do they I, just, I like it a lot time better time? do they limit time no actually or? actually they give you unlimited streaming i believe i haven't found a limit uh listed anywhere so it's unlike Streamyard. you know they only give you 20 hours free so uh, wow. Restream, I, from what my research has found out, is that they don't limit, uh, you know, like 20 hours, then you have to go to the paid plan. They don't limit, so. And they still use Nightbot, I see. You can still use Nightbot with them and that kind yeah. of thing. So, it sounds very ideal to me so far. Well, one reason, you know, Nightbot is actually connected to your YouTube channel as a moderator. So it's not really going through the streaming service per se, right. just YouTube. So it can still work with, you know, yeah. if you go live through. But sometimes, you know, certain software only works with other certain software and, you know, then it's yeah. like priority. What do they call it? Um, not priority, but um, territory. Not getting the right words, but you know what I, I think mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, the pictures. The picture is good. Um, Except I just don't like how it's set up. You know, like so close, and there's no like Streamyard. You can have the little boxes that are in the middle of the screen side yeah. by side and there's yeah. no option for that now i have not tried let me see what this other one is hold on how, how many people can you have in your on your panel now for them i think you can have 
two, like me and you. Okay. Um, but to have multiple people, that does require a paid plan. And okay, that did so not like, change anything. So okay. you can't have like when you have the party, you can't have four to six people anymore. Where do you I don't think go? so? Whoa. Whoa, that's kind of that's oh, not I'm, what I wanted. To do. <laughs> okay. Because I'm looking at you on our little screen and I'm not there, but I'm looking at you on the on the live and I'm still You're there. under me and I'm bigger. I'm I just okay. Yep. I don't, I don't want that one either. You're huge. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. So you well. can make yourself big to show things and the other person is still there. That's better than when you had to make yourself big to show things and the other person was totally gone. That's nice. Yeah. So they don't have that same setting that uh, StreamYard does. That's the only downside. I don't like it being yeah. so close because then I have to have my table so far away from me you know so otherwise people are looking oh, well. up your nose <laughs> <laughs> yeah Have you or you're like your right eyes? here on my eyeball or something what color are your okay. eyes really uh they are a hazel blue <laughs> hi katie <laughs> And I mean to say hi to everybody. It's not just Katie, but I am, I forgot my pills this morning and that has my Adderall in it. So I took both doses of my Adderall with my afternoon pills. So I am still very sluggish and I slept very bad <laughs> last night. I am very, very sluggish. So I am saying hi everyone and giving big hugs to everyone. I just noticed Katie came in and gave us big praise but hi everyone and i'm just doing what i always do and have a project in my hands so welcome in marie and angela uh welcome in katie Ooh, I should uh, welcome in sean crafty you need an sean hd camera yeah crystal I got my uh -huh. streaming camera for $14. Lisa Ladybird suggested that camera for me, but I had to get mm -hmm. a microphone for it. And I can't get the microphone to do good jobs yet. I think it's because my laptop has doesn't have enough memory free on it. So mm -hmm. like it's not syncing correctly. It's not the microphone. It's not the camera. It's the PC doesn't have enough room, so it's like choppy when it records. Yeah. You know? So, and I'm fixing the computer. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, I did try to go live from my computer with um, Streamlabs, and that streaming service is more like for high tech computers that are gamers. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's my laptop I can't stream from anymore. It's so out of date, so old, and it just it won't let me. So I have to go live from my phone. I just need a better phone is what I need. Um oh, yeah. My dad's computer is a gaming is Aww. like a gaming level computer and streams beautifully. But my computer just doesn't have the Oh, to do it. I can't even do doctor's yeah. visits on the computer because it disconnects us. And they're like, why does it disconnect? I'm like, I have no idea. It's a new computer. I literally got it in March or May. Yeah, I remember at, when you got it. At four months, I had to send it in for repairs. Found out it was a a third party seller that had put in a second hard drive for more memory and was posing as the Asus store on Amazon. They were posing as them and they duped me. I thought I was buying it from the Asus store. 
And so when Aces mm -hmm. got it, they took out the second hard drive and they're like, uh, your warranty is void because you didn't buy it from us. And I'm like, I yeah. thought I bought it from you. It said the Aces store. And they're like, no, nope, we're taking your warranty and we took all your secondary hard drive because that's what was causing the problems. And I'm like, wow. I hate you. I hate you guys. I really hate <laughs> you. And you also didn't tell me you took my all of my memory. You know? Oh. But yeah. Yeah, Janet. They, you know, they sent it back to me. It went in with 512 gigs of memory, came back with 64 gigs. And they didn't write a slip that said, we fixed it by taking out the secondary hard drive. They just sent it back saying, it's fixed. <laughs> no, it's not. You took out some of my equipment. Yeah, they um, said. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you guys need. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. I'm like, you need to learn to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> um thank you janet i got your super and thank you chuck for the five gifted memberships <gasps> okay katie email me i love hearing about people's dreams i think dreams mean a lot i use i i have a a book a little leather bound journal and i have had vivid dreams my whole life i still remember a recurring dream i started having when i was six and i had for years oh, wow. after that i had the same dream for years um but i used to write down my dreams in it welcome in grandma wanda hi grandma wanda what do you mean no tickets for you chuck you don't want any tickets even if you pay or you don't get any tickets well then choose five people to give them to i'm winning this month so it, it's really no tickets for anyone <laughs> i'm winning i'm bound to win eventually it might as well be this month it's all mine you all need to just chill out whether I you like it or not chuck I, I still give you an entry as a member. So. Oh, no, Chuck. What if you actually win? What are you going to do with all that <laughs> yarn? Oh, Tracy. We, we would actually um, take out the yarn and add in stuff that he could use. Oh, um, I know. I know. And we've said that before. So. Chuck, is there anything I can send you? Is there Denise. anything I can make? Is there anything I can make you or send you that you could use? It's not, I know you've been gifted enough, but yeah. hey, you Joe, but you know, as you've said, it's the season of giving and pretty much all year is the season of giving. Yeah. Okay, then do me a favor, Chuck. Pick five people out of the chat for me. Oh. You just, uh, you just How went you doing, in and out. Uh, Joe. Oh, I did. Oh, well, I did hit my, uh, I don't know. I kind of did that. Okay. the the microphone is on the cord right here and i think i hit it with my pen so <laughs> i don't know if that affected it yeah it's always fun that if you win you mm -hmm. could pay it forward Working, oh, it just working to five, going home, working on Grow Big Show tonight about mushrooms. Ah, oh. welcome back, Darcia. All right, so instead of giving Chuck the five 
entries for gift in the membership. I'm going to give each of the members that got, got gifted an extra one. So Deborah Richardson, the crochet queen, Mona sifting some soil and more, Brenda Young and Maritza's yarn craft, they'll get the one as a member and then one extra ticket each. Entry, not ticket. I don't, they're not tickets. That's sweet. So I'll just put. Hi, Jen. Welcome in, Jen's Hobby Nook. <laughs> well, YouTube don't really sponsor giveaways. <laughs> In their rules, you also have to state that YouTube is not affiliated with the giveaways in any way, shape, or form. So, yep. welcome in, Barry. How you doing? Hey, Barry. We got a bit of a winter storm going here. Not really a winter storm. It's raining ice. I just scraped my car <laughs> for the first time. First time in the season. Wow. Yeah, it's like it was 55 earlier, and then it warmed up to almost fine, and then it got a little bit warmer. I think the last time I looked, it was like 60, so. Oh. Oh. 32. It's, it's windy. We got a lot of rain yesterday. <laughs> 60. So the older. <laughs> oh, 60. It's hey, when you're used to having 90, 90 degrees, it's it's a little chilly. <laughs> tank top I didn't weather. say cold. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, maybe for you, not for me. <laughs> I'm like thinking of salting the steps. There's ice on my railings. <laughs> no, it's not freezing, but the, the wind is cold. You know, like if it says 55, I'm pretty sure with the 10, 10 mile an hour, you know, wind, Crystal's it's going to feel like it's in the 40s. And her heavy blankets out. Like no, just a, a, just a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do we do we need the thermal underwear, Mama? <laughs> it's sixty out. <laughs> no, 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 it's Fire not that wood. cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, see. it feels um, a lot. It feels a lot colder at that temperature with wet and rain and stuff than it does yeah. when it's dry out. So. <laughs> But it's Chuck had to, to put socks on with his sandals. It's fun to tease you. <laughs> Janet says it's raining in Atlanta. Jen says it's 40 in Rhode Island. Uh, Darcia, she is in Pennsylvania. You too, Darcia. I'm sure I've asked this before, but where in Pennsylvania, Darcia? Tracy says it's 54 in Louisiana with wet and cold wind. Welcome in, Ganey Joe. How you doing? Chuck says it's 70 degrees in North Dallas. <laughs> well, good for you. Because <laughs> it's in the 50s slash 60s here, so. <laughs> um, let's see. Welcome in, Cindy, Lulu's Treasure Trove, and Rebecca McCauley. Hi, Cindy and Rebecca. Forgive me if I'm looking at Alex down is down by Galveston, and it's 59 there. So uh, Barry is in Kentucky, and he says 55 Fahrenheit, wet and breezy in the valley. This is the one Denise round says 40. On. Oh. <laughs> uh, Denise says 40. 
Rain in Virginia so far, 50, uh, 0.51 inches of rain. Uh, Janet says 66 in Atlanta. Hello, the crafty. Katie Jesse. says, Oh, there's Jesse. Welcome in, Jesse. Uh, Katie Jesse. says it's a beautiful, gloomy day here in St. Louis. Any excuse to stay inside, cozy with the kitties, is a win for me. I might build a fire in the fireplace after this. Is everything okay, Ganny Joe? She just got oh, home yeah. from a doctor's appointment. Yes, is everything. Jim G says hot cocoa for Crystal. No, it's not. It's not that that cold. <laughs> not hot cocoa weather yet. Uh. Darcia is from Georgia. Ah. Uh, Barry says it will be 39 Fahrenheit tonight and 30 tomorrow night. Shivers. <coughs> <laughs> Jesse says, I'm always late, but at least I made it before you left. Yes, you did. Well, We've only been live 20 minutes or 20 we started minutes. much later than we were supposed to today it was one o'clock yeah. my time eastern then it was two o'clock then it was 2 30 then it was 3 15 and then we started at like <laughs> 3 20. so yeah all my doing all my doing so welcome in tammy twyford oh thank you joe Hi, Tammy and do, Angela. Do you want the entry, Joe, for the super? Denise Lee through Yarn at Diana D. Well, thank you so much for joining her channel. Oh, that's good, Danny Joe. 55 degrees here in Temple. <laughs> Katie wants the hot cocoa, so send it to her. <laughs> yeah. Cindy well, says it's still it's been down in the 30s tonight. Woo. Yeah, um, my sister and dad like the flavored hot cocos, so I buy those for them. I'm just a plain hot cocoa girl, but they have like raspberry um oh what is it raspberry what is the vanilla hot cocoa caramel hot cocoa my dad drinks the mint ones and the double chocolate ones i'm just plain but extra strong like we get the big canister of the swiss miss i put like six mm. spoonfuls of that stuff in there i'm like Yep, bring it on. More, more, more. Yep. I can't drink the stuff they make for you at like Starbucks or whatever. It's like watered. I'm like, nope, gotta yeah. need more. Yearly checkup. Good. I'm glad nothing is wrong, Danny Joe. Grow big TV. Give it to Melanie. You got it. Yay. Thank you, Joe. That's so sweet. Let's see. I'll be cooking up a concoction. Oh, yeah, you're in Texas, Sean. I forgot about that. I'm doing a 55 degrees in where she is in Texas, north of Austin. My lights, my lights are flickering. Uh oh. All right, just be warned. We do have a generator that kicks in if the power mm -hmm. goes out, but. You may see it go off and come back on, but then we you have disappear. a backup so that <laughs> we do have a backup thing so that 
if the power goes out, the internet doesn't go out. So I should stay on oh. with you. Um, okay. Welcome in, Bridget. <laughs> hey, Bridget. And hey, welcome back, Sally. You were here way back in the beginning, weren't you, hon? She stopped in early before the, I think around like noon and left a message or before I typed. It was like, you know, when you called me the first time when you were still in yeah. town. These are probably going to be too bright to see what they are, but, you know, I wish they came out with soft lights of these, but, yep, they're just balls of lasted sunlight. <laughs> I don't know why they make them so bright. <laughs> these are little Santa hat Jack Skellington faces. I got them for Aww. the holidays to replace my... uh my rainbows but i'll just leave them on thank you jen bridget would like a peppermint cocoa she said uh i don't know what kind of mint they put in them if if i am sending bridget a package if it is peppermint i will sneak one out because they actually don't drink the mint ones too much if it says peppermint on it, I'm going to take one out of our tin and put it in your package, Bridget. Okay? I would try to wink right now, but my winks look really stupid. Ready? Yeah, that's a wink. You can all laugh. Okay. <laughs> I won't blame you for laughing. Um, let's see. Welcome in, Terry for Rio. Terry, you want caramel sauce? Really? It's salty. Grandma and Wanda caramel. puts creamer in her cocoa. Yeah. Sometimes I do too if it's hazelnut. I do. Welcome in, Sally. But I think I'm going to spend some time in the kitchen today. I'm going to make some of those uh, sauces I make, but I'm going to make them flavored. I got some flavorings. So I'm going to play. I'm going to play in the kitchen. I don't think I'm going to film it, though, because it's going to be a lot of a little bit of this, see how it flavors, a little bit of that. <laughs> Ooh, Chuck. Hiya, Yolanda. Do you guys think I should offer the sauces when I do giveaways? Like as And I've had it, Yolanda. It's good. <laughs> but like, like when ways that should be part of the prize package, you can pick a sauce. I think that's a good idea. I. Oh, I just got an order shipped confirmation. I I have stopped ordering things. You guys have seen the craziness. Well, you haven't seen it, but I have I have been crazy. I haven't because I haven't posted it all yet. I've been crazy. Emotional. Emotional ordering. I've mm. I'm done though. Hi, Too Old to Care. What is Too Old to Care's name? Too Old to Care, what is uh, your Nancy. name? Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I have to write that down. I have a page in my one notebook. And I have people's names with their channel names. And that has helped me learn them. Oh, I know, Katie. But did you know that it's actually a symptom of bipolar spending money emotionally? Hmm. They need to like spend. Because when they were diagnosing me, they said, Do you like feel the need to spend money uh, when you don't really need things? 
Like just like, do you have a gambling addiction? Do you <laughs> like? Do, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> well, only I time I have was, a gambling addiction is when I'm at the casino. <laughs> but it's like, well, my mother is a hoarder and tried to raise me to be a hoarder. Uh, maybe you know, but yes. Well, the thing is, <laughs> I do have an addictive personality. I I have mm. very much worked hard to not become addicted to things, you know. Um, but I can become <laughs> addicted to things very easily. My father is not the dad I live with, but my biological father is uh, is a functioning alcoholic, and my mother is a hoarder. So yes, I have both sides of the family. I have that. So, oh, Janet, just build water all over my book <laughs> and my hands. <laughs> like spit it back out. I did not <laughs> think it was a surprise. <laughs> oh, Joe, what, Joe? You buy sea? Ow! Don't surprise us like that, Joe. You made her spit her water <laughs> out. <laughs> What a no, I actually miss my mouth. This thing has like a suction sometimes. Yeah. And it I have not got used to it. I'll be like looking, watching the TV and get a drink and it'll go all over me anyway. So oh. I'm just like, Ugh. at my least sister, it's only water in there. <laughs> my sister has a cup like that with one of those spouts that goes up and down in the strong side. And she'll open it sometimes and it'll just fling water. Like and she's like why well, it's it's not that the way this is it's like yeah. kind of like goes okay. out yeah and then on the inside there's like i don't know kind of like a plastic yeah. thing with holes and so it kind of like tries to slow everything down and then when starts getting low i'll raise it too much and then it just kind of i don't know yep it's trying to drown you <sighs> yeah hi Demetra. we love you too ganny joe ah uh, love you also ganny joe thank you so much for being a yardy cat for 14 months I was there almost the whole time, Joe. I was lurking, but some of the stuff I kind of agreed with, some of the stuff I did not, like, I'm never going to give up my coffee. Then when um, the the lady, I can't remember her name, uh, Paula, uh, was talking about the decaf and what it goes through, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I ever want to drink decaf again. Um, but some of the stuff he was saying was kind of interesting you know like uh, the the niacin getting produced from the vegetables and so it was very informative i have been a vegetarian two times in my life for for different reasons each time and the one time it was more of a cheese and potato -tarian because I'm not a big fan of vegetables, or I wasn't at the time. So I pretty much just ate cheese and potatoes and carbohydrates um, and just didn't eat meat. Um, I still ate eggs and dairy, uh, but I turned green. Like I literally got a, gr I'm so pale. And I literally got this green tinge you see on the wall. I got that tinge to my skin and my family was like what is wrong with you and i'm like what i didn't notice and they were like you're turning green you're not getting the right vitamins and i'm like uh wow. and they took me to mcdonald's ordered me a six piece chicken mcnugget and forced me to eat it right there in the car and they're like you're yeah. eating meat again you know you are not allowed to be a veggie 
And that was after three years of being a vegetarian. And then the next time no. I went vegetarian, I ate the the simulated meat products, which actually yeah. uh, Morningstar are very good. They even look like the chicken stuff looks like chicken inside the patty. And yeah, I have had the Morning Star uh, when I was a teenager. My mom was going through a phase where all the meat was, you know, vegetarian meat. Um, and we've had the Morning Star and other yeah. stuff, you know. So I I know it's it it's okay. Um, the only the only thing is like I I may not eat. I I don't like certain like what the heck is going on with my phone? The the brightness just what the heck that's weird. It's never done that yet. Okay. <laughs> Must be something with uh restream. Weird. Um it's not the battery because it's at fifty eight percent and I don't know. Anyway, so well, like I've got to have some you. beef. I I will never give up eggs. I don't eat them a lot, but we got chickens and they've kind of stopped producing right now because of the winter and also uh, two of them are in their molting phase. Um, okay. I'm not big on like lamb chops, pork chops. The only ham I will eat is bacon or um like I, I don't like ham lunch meat at all, uh, but I will eat a ham steak if it's cooked well done on both sides. Um, yeah. And but I'd rather stick to chicken or beef um, personally. Um, I'm just so yeah. you in. You're gonna move for a minute. And my um, hand's going to be right there. Yolanda, uh, welcome. If I didn't say hello to you, I did wave, but Mel was talking at the time. So welcome in, um, and hello. And she goes, a wonky valve. And uh, yeah, uh, sometimes I just, I want to drink and I don't pay attention. And I think I was also <laughs> trying not to touch it too much because I got lipstick on and I don't want to have to go and clean that. But I was trying to pour it into my mouth, and that did not work out too well. <laughs> Bye, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. Have a good evening or afternoon. Welcome uh, back, uh, Soila. I think you made it. Let's see. Oh, Tracy says uh, YouTube unsubbed her from Ganey Joe. Um. No, Gwen, my channel isn't running this live also. I didn't I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I think you would have to download and share it. Um for you to actually stream live on my channel and your channel, I think we have to have the paid plan. Or I have to have a paid plan. Uh, um I know people no, I know people do that and they don't have paid plans. Because Lisa and Antoinette are doing that right now for um, a cow. Are they using Restream, though? No. Uh, they're using... Well, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I, I had tried to click a box earlier, and so you could maybe put it on your channel, too. Yeah. And it brought up the menu to where it showed the paid plan. So I don't okay. think we're allowed to do that now. I think there's a way, maybe if I downloaded the live, you could, I could send you it and you could put it on your channel, right. but I really don't know how all that goes. So. Yeah, because Lisa once told me I could do, like, when I first did my first live with her, she told me I could put it on mm -hmm. my channel. I was like, how am I supposed to ever do that? And she never told me. And I was like, yeah, yeah like, I know how to do that, you know? And she said, you can get the watch hours for it. And I'm like, I'm new to this. You're my very first live. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, yeah. Welcome in, Paula Mulford. How are you? Let's see. I know I'm behind. I kind of let it set. 
Uh, no, Jen. Yeah, I've been hearing that. People are being unsub. They're saying, I I didn't even know I was unsubbed from you. I guess they're going through a purge. You know, Go. It, it was so funny. I was running your playlist the other day, and I, I think I got to like the second or third to last video on your playlist. And it, it, the tab that it said, and it, it said, un, you know, subscribe. And I'm like, did it unsubscribe me? Well, I refreshed the browser and I was still subscribed to you. For some reason, it said a glitch. Wow. It was saying that I was not subscribed to you. And I thought, well, maybe I signed out of YouTube or something. And I was still signed in because it had my picture at the top. And I'm just like. Well, what's going on? So I refreshed the browser. Yeah. And it then it said subscribe. So I I don't know. It was weird. Okay. I okay, as long as YouTube does not start uh shadow banning me again, I am going to be okay. <laughs> because if it starts picking on me again, I'm not gonna be okay. Because right now, I am only a mod on yours and Joe's channels, you know? Because uh -huh. there was that big mod purging thing. And mm -hmm. unless I'm a mod, if I'm shadow banned, I can't get into people's lives, you know? Yeah. So that's the only Well, it shouldn't do lose. any, you know, changing mods on my channel. I only have two. Right. I have UND. That's it. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, is when they did the, the ba mass banning of, you know, of purging of subscribers, they did was when they did that shadow banning thing last time. And if they start picking on me again, though, you know who they were picking on most recently? Jude. Oh. Jude was being shadow wow. banned from Mama G's auction. Uh, like last month in October and I was in the okay. auction but I am also in a discord group and so I was able to talk to her and I'm like you're being shadow banned I know this intimately and she's like mm. oh but if and everybody's like try refreshing your cash try erasing your cash try I'm like no this is not going to help her I know what's happening to her so she finally yeah. came in on her husband's account you know, at least she had her husband's account because when I did it, I tried coming in on a different account and it didn't even work because it was well, it didn't work because you had to be a subscriber for three days to be in that person's life. But yeah. um, luckily, you know, Mr. I call him Mr. Cat's pajamas. But um, Mr. Pajamas had been a subscriber of Mama G's for long enough. But, you know, so. Yeah. Welcome in, Gwen. I know, Zo Zoila. And I was trying to tell them, I'm like, it's shadow banning. I was trying to tell them in the Discord group and everybody's going, oh, try doing this, try doing, I'm like, it's not going to work. She'll be shadow banned for at least a day on her account. Even if she clears her web history, even if she does mm -hmm. this, it won't work because I went through it for eight months of being that for on different people's lives. And I tried everything. I even contacted YouTube and they said, but we don't shadow ban people. We don't do that. It's not our practice. I'm like, it's your AI. It's a glitch in your AI. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I hope it doesn't happen to her again. I hope it's not a recurring thing. I hope it's not something that's going to happen again. But I did find out that yeah. it is not a once in a blue moon thing. It happens every six months or so. And it happens to a bunch of people. And I think it is something they do to kind of weed out people who maybe they don't, you know, 
weed out the weaker people who, you know, maybe, oh, let's see if these people won't stay around if we bully them a little kind of thing, make it tougher on them and maybe they won't stick around and then we don't have quite as many channels or people hanging around and make room for newer people. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. My sister says I'm a conspiracy theorist about a bit about bullies. <laughs> but you know, it's kind of certain things like bullies. No, these people aren't trying to bully. Hey, maybe they are. You know, it happens again and again. And then, you know, people leave YouTube because they can't get into lives. They can't get into chats. And it makes it really tough for them. All right, Darcia. Sorry, that was my rant. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's horrible. Okay, um, see. I sent you a PayPal. Welcome in. Okay, I'll check just a second. Uh, welcome in, Chris. And they're saying to ask Mara about how to um, share the lives on each other's channel. And yes, Joe, I I am not about to stop using oil to cook with. I mean, <laughs> that's another thing. We use vegetable oil. We use extra virgin olive oil. She uses um, Crisco in her biscuits. Yeah, we can't stop that either. <laughs> hi, sis. But it's and not like we, we have it on everything or anything, you know. Nancy says, Jen's hobby to Jen's hobby. Yes, I've been unsubscribed, unsubscribed from several. Not sure what I am missing now that I haven't realized yet. I, exactly. I, I, I think last year it was, I was subscribed to almost 700 channels. And the next thing I know, I'm like 500, you know, subscriptions. Wow. And I'm like, I don't even know who I got unsubscribed from. So. Right. I can understand that. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad you're doing uh, fine, Paula. I'm doing pretty well. Darn y'all does shared lives check with her. I'll, I'll try to get with either one of them. Yep, YouTube has been glitchy for a long time. Dad's doing pretty good. He's uh he's he's doing um he went back to work as Sarah's caregiver and he's he's you know, it's a it's something to keep him busy and focused and so and he's doing pretty darn good. Um he's still really quiet and just needs a lot of rest and that kind of thing but he's getting there so we're just keeping a quiet house and that kind of thing and we watch tv as family and stuff at night and that kind of thing well i'm glad to hear he's doing better yeah welcome in samantha and anita hi samantha Hi, anyone. And I've Michelle Yarny Disaster. Hello. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Uh, Alex is saying that the shadow banning is because of big tech. Huh. So, big tech companies, maybe. I don't know. Oops, jumped. Got to scroll back up. Hold on. It is so dark outside. I hate when it does that. I'm so far behind and then it jumps down and I'm like, what did I miss? Okay. I We're not even going to get into the 
that, Alex, because that can be a controversy type topic. So, but yeah, it's possible. Exactly, Katie. I want my Oreos to be good for me. <laughs> Nancy is lurking while prepping her pumpkin. Grandma Wanda uses an air fryer. We we have one. We've just never actually used it yet. Um, and Katie wants to know about the olive oil. Not all olive oil is the same. Like pasta from Italy is much healthier than what is made in America. Well, yeah. Welcome in, Carla Gordon. How are you? I'm glad you can make it. Yes, Katie. Um, in Joe's interview with doc, that doctor, um, and I can't really pronounce the last name. I think it was like uh, in there said or something. any oil. So, yeah. yeah she was like no, no nut oil, no plant oil, no seed oil, and I'm like, uh, and no animal product, no. But I'm sorry, I live on butter. I I gotta keep the girlish figure. I mean, look, I painted my nails. They're horribly, horribly chipped. Cause then I went out and fixed my porch post right after I painted my nails. I'm still leaving what color there is on them. It makes me feel pretty. I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. <laughs> I mean, she's over there with makeup and hair, and I'm over here like, eh, get out of my way. Yeah, but I, but I got Halloween pants, legging pants on right now because y'all can't see the bottom half of me. So <laughs> I got but. pajama pants with sloth in, in Christmas hats, okay? Pajama. I went out to do my errands in my pajama pants. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not going to give up avocado. <laughs> I don't eat it very often, but I do love uh, guacamole. Oh. Listen. Okay, ready? Welcome in 2%. She's, 80, she's 89. My grandmother was 100. My great-grandmother was six days shy of 108. They both ate meat. They both ate carbs they both ate oils they both <laughs> cooked farm food and ate you know i'm sure my grand i think my great grandmother did not drink but my i'm, I'm sure my grandmother imbibed once in a while neither of them smoke they you know they just did their thing they cooked they clean you know my great grandmother had the schedule Tuesdays was laundry. Wednesdays was cleaning the house. Thirds, but she cooked meals, full meals with the ham and the whatever for dinner and, you know, supper. And six That's days kind of like my grandmother. Dinner. She's, she's got, uh, she just had a birthday and she was born in 47 and she still works out in her sewing room. She, she goes and goes to Dollar General, does the couponing and, an HEB couponing, which is kind of like a Walmart here. Um, right. She she works in the garden. She's, you know, and she cooks right. and does dishes and laundry. She still goes, you know, and right. I and think that's I also read, what keeps her going. Read what Chuck said to use instead of oils. I haven't got and, down that far, and I'm trying right, to, when to wait read to say it, something to two people. Because spoke. you're not supposed to use animal products either. But it's hilarious. But, you okay. know, six days shy of 108. And w when she was 106, she started confusing her 11 great-grandchildren's names. And I don't think she really started confusing us. I think she was just messing with us, you know, for, for her amusement. 
you know, really. I don't think she ever really had any dementia. She just got bored and decided to play a game that only she knew about, you know. But she was hilarious. But, yeah, so. Uh, thank you, uh, so Michelle I, Yarny Disaster, for being a member for 10 months. So I don't, I'm not going to give up the olive oils the I mean we've gone from cooking with vegetable oil to cooking with olive oil mm -hmm. that kind of thing when we put it in the pan <coughs> Some um, Alex, thing. you don't have to be sorry you you don't know <coughs> it's okay um there's just certain topics on YouTube usually content creators try to stay away from because they could get in trouble with the um, youtube policy about what kind of content could be in there and it's not really we get in trouble it's more along the lines it could start drama and that's politics is one thing we don't talk about on my channel period so um yeah but it's if you ever want to talk politics message me on facebook i'm happy to talk about it there just not here on YouTube. And let's Oh, see. really, Anita, owner of the Oreo. Well, then I've been paying you a lot of money because I have bought a lot of them. And I can't find my Christmas Oreos. The store only has like hot cocoa Oreos out for Christmas and gin some sort of gingerbread and i want my red ones i just want the regular oreos with the red cream filling and they don't have them they only have flavored ones and i want to complain to said owner of the oreo mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay i'm done <laughs> but yeah. thank you julia for being a member I'm for good. seven months I enjoyed the interview, Joe. I really did. I'm just not going to go with the diet, <laughs> the, the all or nothing diet, you know? Yolanda, my grandmother Hi, does the same thing when um, she cooks bacon, she saves the grease. Um, Alex, if you go to Walmart, um, Mainstays Yarn, you can get that uh, about almost 400 yards for a little under $3. I would start with that kind of yarn. I would not start with crochet thread. They have crochet a really thread good is cotton. really thin. Yeah. Their cotton, though, is good enough to be garment worthy or if you want to make dishcloths, the mainstays cotton. It's really nice. Hi, Marie. Yep. Jen's Hobby Nook says, yes, crystal guacamole is a must. I have found my new favorite hot sauce. It's an avocado hot sauce. Oh, my God. I try to put it on everything I can. I love it. We got some at the Dollar General clearance. You only need a little bitty bit, and it is it's a lot hotter i i mix it in my ranch and it gives it that little bit of heat i put it on pizza along with um cajun seasoning uh i i put it on tacos what else i've put it on uh we we do fr uh homemade french fries with cheese bacon bits and ranch and i even put it on that so What is it you need, Diana? What yarn do you need? I would not know. Maybe my grandmother knows. How would you make a cake with that egg? Well, you'd have to use oil and probably some baking uh, powder. You could use mayonnaise. That's what Mama was saying in the old days. They would use mayonnaise if you didn't have eggs. 
but yeah, then there's that that them. other thing that that doctor said he could, you don't need is oils or or mayo. Yeah, but you'd have to use a raising agent too, so probably some baking powder. Mm. Well, Katie, it was on Garden State Garden Day Fun Day uh, two days ago. The interview. Well, that's the one I watched it from. Dude, was Garden State Garden? Why did I think today was Monday? I lost today. Hi, Mara. And she already shut the door. <laughs> ah, it jumped again. Oh, yes, I Sally, mean, applesauce. Sally said applesauce, too. Oh, you okay. A lot of people use that in breads for moisture. Okay, so you can use yogurt, applesauce, banana, tofu to replace eggs. Welcome in, Diana Crane. How are you? Um, we've only been live an hour, surprisingly, so we're not going to be leaving anytime soon. We started, like I said, an hour ago, so 2.25 central time it kind of is an oil substitute but there are oil uh cakes there are oil based cakes there are all sorts of older recipes like from the depression that you can find that um that use oils instead of like eggs and stuff because of what they couldn't get a hold of. Chuck's been eating Lind Lindor holiday chocolates. I ate almost a bag of the Lint uh, truffles the other night. I was like, wait a minute, wasn't this bag half full when I started? And then I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> um, Alex has made a decision. He's going to start crocheting. Well, good for you, Alex. Yep. Maybe Alex will win that box out from under my nose this month. Somebody <laughs> always does. Maybe it'll be Alex. Oh, the ranch rabbit. Looks easy, yeah. Alex. Till you try it. Yeah. It it really isn't that hard. And you should try with a bigger weight yarn. This is a five weight yarn. This is knitting though. But this is a five weight yarn. Five or four weight yarn will make it easier for you to to catch on to what you're doing. When you said crochet thread, that's like a number 10. It's like a zero weight yarn. Yeah, that's you know, why I was I was going to try to find. I thought I had a little bit of crochet thread somewhere over here. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to start with a crochet thread. No, that's no. Like, uh, please okay. make me go blind and make my fingers get carpal tunnel. No. <sighs> Where is the end of this thing? Hold on. All right, Alex, can you see how small this is? Little tiny thread. Crochet thread is, is smaller than that. You won't be able to five. see inches. And that's and a one way. Yeah. So you can kind of see and a difference how big. Uh, welcome, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> welcome in, Mara, mindfully crocheted. How are you? Where'd my stitch marker go? Oh, there it is. Jumped on me again. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, Joe. Have a good day. Drive safe. 
Bye, Joe. Thank you so much, Mara. What ice cream bars? Oh, um, yeah, I think I've seen the Ferrero Rocher. Well, maybe not Ferrero Rocher. I know, um, is it Magnum makes an ice cream bar with uh, the little crunchies on it. Magnum makes an ice cream bar with yeah. their hazelnut crunchies. I just remembered you said you sent to PayPal. <laughs> yeah, I have to be careful though because my sister's allergic to hazelnuts, so I can't get her any of those. Okay, All right, I'm I got you down. Own... Okay. Now you want to make your own hook, Alex? That would be cool. Yeah. The screen's going dark there. again. What the heck? There That's are so weird. tons of things you can do inside the craft circle of yarn crafts. Make your own hooks, make your own stitch markers, um, make your own mm -hmm. notions, pouches, and bags. I mean, just within that whole sphere. What is this? What what is this flyaway wing thing going on? Why? Mm -hmm. Why do you not tell me about this, people? No, your hair. What is going on? Um, Jen says, Crystal, if you were following that diet, you wouldn't be making a cake because you can't eat any sugar. Yeah, uh, and I'm planning on making some cookies uh, for Thanksgiving. At least I want to. I don't know if I'll, if, if I actually will. I would like to. Oh, Mara, that's too bad. So all tree nuts, Mara? Sarah's only allergic to hazelnuts, um, but we still kind of are cautious when it says, you know, packed in a plant with other tree nuts, but she's also allergic to apples and gold. So anything like with gold leaf on it or anything and, you know, gold plated, she can't touch. Wow. And then there's other stuff. She got one of those fun bracelets. And they literally could only fit so many things on it. And then they had to do a QR code. <laughs> Aww. What you mean by not bullying? I just keep Ruby and have a way to do the you can take her with and feed them if you'd like. Yeah, they'll they'll calm down once they're fed. Welcome in, Steph. How you doing? Thank you, Dad. Din -din. Yeah. Um. I think nowadays, like, just certain people, whatever their preference is, what it's easier for them to work with, like okay. me. My, I used to love knitting a one or two weight yarn, which is real thin, but my hand had been acting up for a little bit, but so I'm just working on projects that are a four weight. Um, she won't push the door, Dad. There's some she people that do only three weight and under. Some do three weight and over, so... Hi, Steph. Yeah, I would definitely um, not start small, then go big, because Alex, the smaller it is, the harder it's going to be. You're, the harder it's going to be for you to see the stitch, and you need to get used to actually 
doing the crochet crochet stitches. Um, so you'll need to see how to do them. So I would start with a four weight yarn. And you want to be able to recognize what they look like. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. Welcome back, Zoila. 2% because I'm trying to get back into the groove of crocheting. Maybe I should try smaller things. Like I lose interest when doing things like blankets. Yeah. Um, maybe do a hat or a um, pair of fingerless mittens or some gloves, scarf. you know, scarf. Yeah, I would I would start smaller projects. Let's see. Hi, King Morgan. Welcome in, King Morgan. Well, you've got a full house today says there's 34 watching. I get seven. Yep. Actually, my phone and my computer say this. Well, now it says 33, but it still says 34 on my phone. <laughs> I, I literally get like, well, one of them's me. Yeah, and one's me. Me. So. But I get like seven to nine, and I'm like, woohoo, we almost hit double digits. <laughs> And I think I am definitely going to go live tomorrow morning. So if I can wake myself up. Anita is making white chocolate banana pudding and jam cake for Thanksgiving. I have never heard of it. Sounds good. Yep, Rice Krispie treats are also in season. It's almost time for snickerdoodles. Oh, thank you, Mara. I might move it back by an hour. I'm having a lot of trouble sleeping, so a lot of trouble getting up. I might move it back by an hour. Janet loves lace and fingering weight. I love all weights of yarn, I'm realizing. I thought I was like really into the sock weights recently. But I mean, this is a five weight and I'm just like, la, 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 this is how people fake knit, you know? Have you ever seen the people yeah. fake knit on TV? And they're just like, oh, yeah. back, forth, back, forth. I'm like, <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. And then you actually get somebody really knitting and you can tell they're really wrapping the yarn and pulling the stitch out, going into the next stitch, wrapping it. You know, you can actually tell they're really knitting. And I'm like, yeah. are you going to make a hack by the end of this scene? <laughs> <laughs> what yarn are you using? What what needles are those? And you're watching their hands more than you're watching what's going on. <laughs> like the, they're not really doing it. Um, you're very welcome, two percent. Oh, really, Zoila? You think nine o'clock's too early? Okay, see, that is helpful. If I knew nine o'clock was too early for people, I would have moved it back a long time ago. Uh, welcome Hi, in, uh, Great Granny C. Hi, Great Granny C. Nightbot got um, Alex. Oh, yeah, don't do that many emojis, Alex. Um, no more than 10 or Nightbot's going to get you. I have no idea if everybody gave thumbies. Oh, no one Janet. can see the thumbs here. I know you took that away. Yep. 
All I can see is whether I've clicked it or not. <laughs> and I had a reason because um, certain times it was like, oh, so many semis, let's do a thumbs up. Next thing you know, people are taking their thumbs off. So I just took it completely off my channel. You would see the thumbs disappear. It'd be like 54 and then it'd say 53. So they were taking them off. So I just did away with all that. That is so rude. Now you can't see them. I know. It's like the other day I did a video and it said minus one subscriber. I was like, oh, okay. Well, goodbye. Somebody didn't like that video and they unsubscribed. Well, then my channel must not be for you then. So. Okay. Why would someone unsubscribe over a single video? I don't know. It it beats oh. me. Um, Carrie is Alex. No, no black yarn or fuzzy yarn. It's hard to see the stitches, and I agree. Unless you have really hurting. bright lighting for black yarn, you can't really see what you're doing. So. And if you need to frog, which you will, if you are a brand new crocheter, you will not be able to frog it if it's fuzzy. And then there will be a lot of swearing and a lot of ripping and a lot of scissoring and throwing away. And if you don't swear, then there will just be a lot of grumbling <laughs> and, <frogging laughs> and scissoring and throwing away. Thank you so much, Great Granny C. Exactly, Mara. If you leave your thumb, you leave it. Don't take it away again. Yeah. And you know, and, and this is just me. And if I don't like the content, I still give a thumbs up because I know it helps whosoever channel it is. You know, I mean, right. We're I'm supposed to be it. supportive, even if it's, yeah. I'm watching thumbs it. Thumbs up and subscribing are free. I think it just jumped again. I'm doing okay, a yeah, blanket yeah. right now. A graph dan, and the whole background is black yarn. And I'm like, <laughs> but the thing is, it's half double crochet with an eye hook, so it's not too bad. And I... And I see why people love Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn, because I usually have always done, I never knew about Hobby Lobby until I moved where I live now. They didn't have them in Lancaster okay. County. I didn't even know the store existed. So I had Joann's, I had Michael's, and I had AC Moore, because they were still around when I lived down there. So those are the stores I had, and they had Red Heart Super Saver, you know, and Joann's didn't have Big Twist yet. They didn't have their store brand yet. So I bought those, and I had Red Heart. That's all I had as my basic acrylic. And Michael's didn't have Craft Smart yet. So I always made blankets out of Red Heart. And so... Jeannie V, who ordered this blanket, sent me the yarn for it, and it's all, I love this yarn. And I'm like, this yarn is so soft. What is this yarn? <laughs> I'm like, I need to now go to Hobby Lobby every time I need to make a blanket and buy blanket quantities of I love this yarn when it's on sale, only when it's on sale. But this has to be my blanket yarn from now on because there is such a difference between the Red Heart and the and the I Love This Yarn. I was like, oh, Red Heart's getting softer. Even between the softest Red Heart and the I Love This Yarn, it's just, oh my gosh. The mainstay is, I think, is just as says I love this yarn. Yes. But it's so much cheaper <laughs> than yeah. I love this yarn because you're getting yep. a skein of I love this yarn for four ninety nine or five ninety nine I think, and yep. the main stays is two something. At yeah, my Walmart, for almost four hundred yards, two yeah. something. 
So I was just like, uh, but my, unfortunately my Walmart only has a teensy tiny section of it. So there aren't that many colors. Whereas you go to Hobby Lobby and it's like three aisles, variegated, solids. They all coordinate. They've got them in cottons. They've got them in bulkies. They, you know. <laughs> I missed all the chat. Somebody got. Yeah, I've been trying to read while you talk. I I just saw that it jumped. Um, I've been reading the chat as you've been talking, trying to get a little caught up because I was so behind. And yes, Nightbot can be a knucklehead. Um, people yeah, were saying. Hi, Antoinette. Antoinette. Uh, there was something I was going to. Somebody uh, did something. Now I don't know where it was. Oh, yeah. the Something about seven-layer dip. Ah, uh, it just moved again on me. What, uh, Terry, what is seven-layer magic bars? What does that include? Oh, I think I've seen them on baking shows. And... Um, and exactly, Anita, you do you. You do yeah, you, sis. true. Do you. And yes, Alex, patience is the key to any kind of crafting. It doesn't matter if it's crochet, knitting, drawing, painting. Patience is a big factor in all crafting very much thank you so much great granny c um you get one entry for gifting the membership just so you know not really sure if you knew that but so you're going in for gifting it and zoila Soila, sorry, I always try to do that with a Z, and I'm like, no, I know it's not a Z anymore. Old habits die hard. But at least I catch myself. <laughs> uh, that is for Soila. Ah. Have a good night, Katie. I'll talk to you later. Ah, it jumped again. Okay, Katie, since you're going, here you go. Here's a cluck. Wow, it's just a gift a thon now. Aw, we love you too, Katie. It's a gift-a-thon. Watch D show up and suddenly 10 memberships will be gifted. Uh, She'll be like, I hear gift, I hear somebody gifting uh, Crystal's memberships. I must go. It's like the back home signal for her. <laughs> yep, like they say, thumbs are free. I've used the Premier Basics. It's a really good yarn. Is it? Um, if you want to, you can. I do tutor some tutorials, Alex. I have a playlist. If you go to my channel and find the playlist tab, you can actually see me crocheting on some of those. So go check those out, okay. and you'll kind of get a gist of what it looks like. I don't do tutorials too often, though. You know what was fun, Alex? her spider cow and as long as you know basic stitches once you learn basic stitches you can do that i am not happy here oh trish got the the one you gifted that's sweet yep. um, you know what, what all right was, so was i in i guess I guess it would have been D's live 
was it D's live? I guess that was the closest one to now. My brain just does not function. But I gifted a ticket to Sally Stevens. And then I gifted uh -huh. a membership and it went to Sally Stevens. I, I saw that. I think was I was hilarious. lurking when that happened. But it was hilarious. I was like, oh my gosh, all the people in here and that happened. <laughs> um, congratulations, Trish, on the membership. Hi, buying space. And Denise Lee gifted a membership. Thank you, Denise. And Navy Mommy Loves to Crochet is the lucky recipient. That is, I, I would like to know her real name. <laughs> That's a lot. Yes, sir. I'm on my live. Yeah, I will take them shortly. It's going to end soon. Yeah, and I just heard Dad say he told you. Uh huh. Okay. okay just You're on my live now. Hey, people, bye, people. We'll tell her I said hello. I don't know if she'll hear me. Oh, no, she already hung up. Okay, Terry for Faria, the seven lay chocolate bars are graham crackers, chocolate chips nut question mark sweetened condensed milk coconut probably on eagle brand website oh. uh thank you so much darcia <laughs> down right there okay can i say it now hold, hold Hi, on Judith. Oh. drive safe <laughs> All right, I got you, Darcia. Thank you so much. Hi, Mama. Well, hello. Uh, she can't hear you with the, um, but Mel says hello. Hi. Um, Aunt Dale is doing okay. Welcome in, Judith Bonker. Welcome in, Buying Space. I, uh, I don't know your first name, but let me know your first name. Um, I think I'm oh. almost about. Um, okay, I'll give you the update on Dale. Hold on. <laughs> I'm putting plas window plastic hey, on. I just you. turned off the hair dryer. Oh, Myra, I, Elaine. Ooh. Um, ah, well, welcome in, Myra. Check you out. Okay, um, you'll have to, the microphone is here and you don't have to speak directly into it, but just hold it about here. I don't need to hear anybody, I guess, but uh, anyway, uh, there. Uh, the problem with the situation with my sister, Dale, is since somebody, somebody asked, uh, cannot seem to get, it's been over three months at three and a half months this time. And I cannot seem to get any, uh, any type of therapy set up for her. Some problem with the insurance, some problem with the doctor, some problem with, I don't know what it is, but it's driving me insane. Uh, now I have an update for Lion Brand Yarn. I I just got an email and I just ordered some, but there's a trick to it. So be careful. You may get an email. Look on your thing right now, but it's it's called limited edition. It's acrylic yarn. It's 186 yards. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. Okay. All right. 186 yards. And uh, you get nine skeins for nine dollars. Now, the trick of it is you only click on the one that says neutral. 
the other groups, they don't work right. So just go to the one that says neutral and you order in sets of nine. If you just order, click on one and then you go back and you order some more, it won't work. So when you first do your order, go ahead and make that uh, hit the plus sign and go ahead and get it up to nine. Well, what I did was I got out of that and I went back and ordered 18 and it still worked. So with shipping, it cost $24 for 18 skeins of it. And it just says neutral color. Uh, but it says it saves seventy one eighty two by doing that. So just in case y'all want to know. Uh, Grandma Wanda got that email. So did I. You got it? Okay. Well, I didn't know uh, if you did. Antoinette dislikes her. Oh, well, you know what? Um, It'll make somebody a nice warm scarf or hat for winter. But anyway, okay, bye. Um, hold on. Uh, Soila is saying, hi, me, Mom, Patricia, Marie Simpson. Hi, Patricia. Denise hey. Lee. Hi, Patricia. Hey. Uh, Soila says, me, Mom, Patricia. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll keep her in my prayers. Oh. And yes, yes, we hear you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> forgot what? She forgot to say she was back. But, oh. Uh, wow. Thanks, me, Mom, Patricia. Sending hugs. Uh, Zoila said that. Uh, Antoinette says, yes, it's good for a donation. So, like, if you're going to make something, right? Mm -hmm. use Marie add, says, use thanks. Addy, and you don't have to touch it if you don't want to touch it. <laughs> I can't get the dollar general on the app thing. It's make sure your, your internet is on first before you bring up the app. And um, if it is open, press the square and then the circle. And then, I mean, press the circle, then the square, and then swipe it to the left to make sure it closes down. Well, it just won't take a number. It won't take, it says you have to sign in again, I guess, because it's a straight talk thing. It says you have to sign in all over again, and it won't make it. Oh, I don't know. Hey, Truly Amazing. Welcome in, Truly Amazing. Rebecca says, hey, Meemaw, Patricia, thanks. Well, she closed the door before I could finish my sentence. <laughs> she likes to inform y'all about different good deals that are going on, no matter if it's at Dollar General or or Yarn. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Lionbrand.com is where she was talking about. Oh, Alex just subbed to you, Melanie. What's that? Oh, yes, it does. So much, Alex. See ya. Oh no, Kim G just lost yarn ch chicken. It's a kit from Mary Maxim that I won from G. I'm sure one and a plus a border the whole way around the shawl. I don't have any. You know what you could do? Um, and I know you're gonna not like hearing this. Rip out about two rows back and crochet. When you do that, or get a smaller, it hook. eats up less. Yeah, you could yeah, change oh. change a hook. That's horrible, though. If it's a kit, they should have given you, you know, more than enough yarn. They usually try to give you extra. I've heard that I think she had a problem with, with it ruffling and so I had suggested a bigger hook uh, because it wasn't laying flat and so that's also uh, would have been a problem with the, the amount of yarn you needed I I didn't even think of that oh well what kind of yarn is it it's, it's not the only thing um, is she skittable in polo well, you got to call D then. She has more. <laughs> got to call D. 
she has all the unforgettable in the world anymore that they ever produced. It's all at Dee's house. Um, in fact, before Momo when they started make- talking, I did say thank you for the super chat, Darcia. I don't know if a chicken sound or not, but I did say thank you. But yeah, when they uh, want to make those kits now that have them, oh, I got eight on my phone. Mary Maxim now calls Dee's house and says, Dee, we need to buy some unforgettable from you. We have to fill some orders. <laughs> just realized my phone was like eight so <laughs> that's why i plugged mine in it was under 50 percent. i'm like i'm plugging it in now i might have to go very soon because the dog well, really don't have to go out yeah i i plan to uh wrap it up here in a second but you you really shouldn't oh. plug your phone in and, until it gets down because it could ruin your battery and it only much charge. Like it'll only well, have if I you plug it in it and, it and let it charge up at fifty percent, giving your battery life half. It was under fifty percent. Mm-hmm. It was under. So I just wanted to make sure it didn't go too low. Um, I'll I'll ask her. I think it'd be good for you to learn how to crochet, Alex. Oh, you use on the yarn ball instead. Okay. And 2% is back. And she goes, yay, I can hear. Yay. Well, I'm glad it worked out the problem with the no sound. (laughs) All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up Nightbot. We're going to do the entry giveaway. I changed up where Nightbot was on my tab, and I was like, wait, where'd it go? <coughs> Is it going to show the chat today? Is it going to? Yay, yes, it is. Hey, maybe it's because it's a different streaming thing. I think so. Woo-hoo! I think so. All righty, so let's go ahead and what we're going to (coughs) do is I'm going to pick, welcome in, Jen Reeves. Hi, Jen. Uh, Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick two people. And the keyword is going to be dragon, D-R-A-G-O-N. And you only need to enter it once. For those of you that might be new, what the entry giveaway is, is you receive an entry into the monthly giveaway. We got seven eligible now, nine, 10, 11, 15, 18, Nineteen. 
Money. Yeah, I see 21. <coughs> well, 22. It says there's 33 here, and a few of those I know are, are others. So. Give it a couple of more seconds just in case people are lagging or running behind. <clears throat> Did it count that one? Do you have 23 yeah. or 22? 23. Ooh, so it'll count a plural. Interesting. Yeah, as long as it has, um, yeah, because it's got it. Judas. As long as I don't have like, I don't know, a dragon tooth, spell. all one word, something like that, you know, maybe it will pick up the, I don't think it's case sensitive. Oh, it does say case yeah. insensitive. So if somebody puts an S, it's not gonna not count. count it. Right. As long as you don't mark case sensitive, you know, if you marked that, then if someone put a capital D and you put a lowercase d, it would not count theirs. Yeah. Okay, and we got one more. Well, I mean, so we should be yeah. 24. Yep, 24. Yep, and got Sean. All right. That's great, Alex. <laughs> You should believe in yourself. I think that's awesome. Okay, oh, we got two more, Terry and Great Granny. Let me make sure. No, you should have been counted, Great Granny. I see Grandma Wanda, and then it jumps to Janet Dixon. Maybe it hasn't registered it yet. Who was the one before that? Terry. It got Terry. You know what, Great Granny, do it again, just in case. There, it counted you. You're good, great granny. You're in there. Now it says 26. All right. <clears throat> so these are the ones that are marked eligible. We have 2%, Alec Newt, Angela Wright, Carl Lan, Carla Gordon, Darcia, Denise Lee, uh, Diana, which is Diana Crane. Uh, Tammy Twyford, Grandma Wanda, Great Granny, Janet, Jen Reeves, Jen's Hobby Nook, Judith, Kim, Melanie, Lathalia, Marie, Rebecca, Sally Stevens, Sean Terry, Demetra, Truly Amazing, Yolanda, and Soila. 
All right. Good luck. And I'm going to draw two back to back. Good luck, Thanks everyone. Brandon. Janet. Congrats, Janet. Congratulations. Let's pick the second one. Great Granny C. Congrats, Great Granny C. Congratulations. All righty. I think it's cool. The last couple of times I have tried to load Nightbot it's actually shown the chat and i think that that is awesome congrats to all the winners oh kim i found two sellers on ebay selling the polo unforgettable one of them is eight dollars and something plus shipping, so it comes out to like fifteen dollars for a skein, and one is eleven something for a skein with free shipping. So it's actually really not that bad considering it's discontinued. Yeah. So I can uh, put the URL for the um, and considering the person on walmart.com wanted $25 for one skein of it. And I was like, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I can put the URL for the $11 one in the chat if Crystal's cool with that, if you want. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. Um. <clears throat> And that way, if you need it, it's right there. Oh, you found it on Amazon, Terry. You know what? Terry, Terry took care of it. I'm not going to put that long URL in there. She found it for $9.95. And you know what? I usually go to Amazon anyway. Just going to erase this whole long encyclopedia of URL. Good job, Terry. Terry beat me in, in web research. Oh, Terry. <coughs> All right. Good job. Well, you got your pick, Kim. <laughs> um, hopefully, it's the right colorway on Amazon. Um, and maybe go search you on. don't need to buy a whole stain for like this much, <laughs> you know. Get yarn anywhere. I know you have some. What do you want me to get yarn for? like to show something. Yeah, I got all my scrap oh. yarn that's not in bags over here to my left. Sorry, Mill, only two left, huh? They only have two in stock. Yeah, but I'm not the one buying it, so I'm not worried. It was for Kim. He, he lives here in Texas, just not maybe like two and a half hours away from me. What is the sound? It's like a sick motor trying to start. I have no clue. I, I'm not hearing anything. I just heard Ziva cough, but I have rain on the roof. I don't think you can hear that. Night, Angela. <clears throat> All right, so I think we are going to wrap this up. Uh, I know Mel needs to go in and take her dogs out, and I am starting to get hungry, so I'm going to go eat. <laughs> yeah. It's um, going to be a battle to get them to go off the porch in the freezing rain. Yeah, go, 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 go do your stuff. Go do, get out there. 
much like a sound like a TV. Well, I only ha I have one earbud in, so I don't know. Maybe. Let me see if I can hear anything. I don't know. I don't hear nothing. Um, yes. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. If I don't see y'all on Thursday, probably. I probably won't have a Yarny Talk Thursday this week at all. Um, since that falls on Thursday, but um, I will have my Thursday, I mean, my Friday live. <laughs> so, all right, everyone, y'all have a wonderful day. Oh, I forgot to ask. I've been meaning to ask you this the whole uh, live. What are your watch hours like? I have no idea. I have been so horrible. I haven't looked at my watch hours in forever. I okay. have no idea. They're probably still at 1.9 or they have gone down. I don't know. I don't okay. know. And Janet, come on over. Come on over, Janet. <laughs> but I don't know. Okay. I don't. Well, I'm I know still she's needing watch hours. So if y'all can, please maybe go and help run her, her play the holidays. All right, everyone. I have Thank you, Mel, uh, for being here, and I'm glad you were able. We were able to work out all the kinks with the uh, restream. <laughs> Folks, back. When did I get an echo? I don't know. I haven't There's heard an echo. There's thunder outside. There's. I have a fan way over there that you can. I can barely hear. What? Sometimes watch hours do actually roll off after 12 months so anything she's gained over the last 12 months I mean anything past a 12 month period will roll off so yeah they do eventually expire um, I, I will go check and I'll put it on a community post okay all right everyone I hope y'all do have a wonderful Thanksgiving eat till your heart is content just don't get sick <laughs> <laughs> and have fun and enjoy the time with your family. All right, everyone, y'all have a wonderful rest of the day, and we will see y'all later. Bye, everyone. Bye.